Welcome to another creature tutorial. This is a very exciting tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you about this very fancy new feature called the Apply Bone Tracking feature and I'm going to show you actually how we're going to animate some reins on this character. Okay, so before we get started let's take a look at the rig. Okay, this is a, a pretty cool looking character, basic looking character and if you noticed, let me make the, the bones a bit larger. All right, okay. So I actually have this reins mesh object running through the character, okay? And well, we're gonna use Creature's powerful procedural motor system to animate the reins. Normally reins are very tough to animate because what's gonna happen is this creature is gonna actually rear its head and be very dynamic. It's gonna make the reins behave like natural rope for reins, okay? And the way it works right now, the way the rig is set up is I have this chain of bones coming down representing the rope, all right? And I also have created this bone over here. I'm calling it track head, okay? So that is the bone that we're gonna use for bone tracking later, you see why. But this bone itself is parented under the head bones, so it moves with the head, all right? Let me, so basically, if I, if I uh, let's see if I move this, see how this head bone moves to the head, okay? And obviously the rope is disconnected, but don't worry about that, that's perfectly fine. Right, so we have again just to repeat myself, I have a chain of bones running down through this reins mesh over here, and I also have created this track head object, which you'll see in a moment what it's for. Okay, so on to animation mode. Let's take a look at what we have right now. Uh, it's a pretty cool looking character, animation's pretty cool. I've set up a bunch of motors, you can see it's doing all the dynamic flush behavior, it's rearing its head, it's pretty cool. Okay, let me repeat that again. Okay, but what's missing, what's missing from this animation, obviously are the reins. They look too static and basically, in my opinion, wrong, right? You want the reins to move with it. So what, what can we do to solve this problem? Okay, so let's stop the animation. So what we actually want to do is we want to basically have these reins connect up or hook up to, to the head, the, the, the head over here, right? And it's supposed to move freely like a rope, but we want the two ends to be pinned. So what do we do? What 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 motor should we use for this case? Well, this is where we actually use the pin rope motor. So you see, I've actually selected. Well, I, let me try it again. I've, I've clicked on this baseball over here, the rope, and I just press Control M. That's a shortcut to select all children. Okay, so that's all the children. All right. And now when I click Install Motor. I'm going to pick the pin rope motor. It creates a rope object for me with directable ends. So let's do that. All right. Okay. And before we play the animation, let's set up some parameters. Always do that. So let's up the gravity. Let's set it to 0 0.1. Okay, let's see what we get. So, and let's down the damping to 5 because I want more dynamics. What happens now? Uh, let, me turn, let me clear this, this sheet. Okay, let's go. Oh, okay. So now we have this rope coming down, falling under gravity, right? Okay, that's pretty cool. But of course, this, the rope isn't tracking anything yet, it just falls on the gravity. So again, not too interesting. What's the next step we can do? Well, you could obviously take this reins rope motor and direct it yourself manually. You can probably press here and in the next frame you try to you know, go forward and track the head, right? And it would you know, do an okay job, maybe, but it'd be very tedious because you're tracking this moving head. It's a moving target. It's very tough to, to, to track. So what, what's the solution for that? Well, the solution for that is actually very simple. Click on, again, click on the rope motor, one of the bones of the rope motor, and now go to animate, and now click on apply bone tracking. So this is a powerful new feature of Creature that allows you to do bone tracking. So now I pick track head. Remember I made this track head bone there? It's specifically for this purpose. So select the track head bone. Okay, we have that. And that's really all you need. The default options work most of the time. And just click OK. All right, and look, it snapped onto the head now. Now, if we actually play the animation, let's see what we get. So look at that. The rope actually tracks with the head now, just like the reins did. And now we can play very easily. We can play with the properties of the rope objects. Let's see what we get now. Now we have a, a tighter rope, so it doesn't, doesn't hang loosely as much as before, right? And what's cool about this is now that this guy's pinned to the head, I can basically freely move the ends of the rope to direct it. 
So I can move it, move it here. And then say in frame 55, I can raise this guy up. See how the, the physics solver corrects itself for the motion. So if I play it now, you know in slow motion, you notice it goes all the way up, right? So let's uh, let's see what happens again. See how I'm, I'm directing the rope motion? So basically directable ropes or any kind of thing you want to do with the bone tracking feature. You can basically make pin or rather pin or target bones onto another bone using a bunch of motors. The motors that are compatible with the bone tracking are the free FK motor. This allows you to basically detach objects into world space. So if you wanted to throw, say, an object from a hand into world space but make it track another bone, you can, you can basically apply bone tracking to the free FK motor. It also works on all the IK motors, okay, all the IK and IK rotate motors, and of course, the pin rope motor, which I just demonstrated. So with this feature, the pin rope motor becomes extremely useful if you want to animate stuff like rings, like what I'm doing right here. So not only this kind of motion is very tough to animate, especially when you have two ends which are supposed to target specific fixed points or moving points, right? And the middle part is supposed to react on its own. But with this tra bone tracking feature, it suddenly becomes very, very easy. All right? Okay, so thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this feature.